Hello and welcome. My name is Alan and we are back with more members of the 118th Congress. Today we are looking at Representative Pramila Jayapal. She represents the 7th District of Washington, which covers Seattle proper. She is a Democrat, and before she took office, she was preceded in office by Jim McDermott. Now, let's go ahead and look at who she is as an individual. She was born in Chennai, India on September the 21st, 1965. Um... Earned an A.B. from Georgetown University in Washington, D.C. in 1986. Earned an M.B.A. from Northwestern University in Evanston, Illinois in 1990. Has been a financial analyst, a nonprofit executive, member of the Washington State Senate from 2015 to 2016, before being elected as a Democrat to the 115th and three following Congresses. So she is in term four. Now, let's look at the committees she is on. She's on the Committee on Education and the Workforce, of which she's on the Subcommittee on Health, Employment, Labor, and Pensions, and the Subcommittee on Higher Education and Workforce Development. She's on the Committee on the Judiciary, of which she's on the Subcommittee on Immigration Integrity, Security, and Enforcement, and the Subcommittee on the Administrative State, Regulatory Reform, and Antitrust. Now let's look at the top five industry donors over her career. At the top, we have retired, who all together have donated 1,213,332 dollars. Next is nonprofit institutions, who all together have donated 452,219 dollars. Next is lawyers and law firms, who all together have donated 432 $3,273. Next is Electronics Manufacturing and Equipment, who altogether have donated $403,770. And in number five is Securities and Investment, who altogether have donated $389,377. Now, let's look at our top five individual donors and contributors over her career. At the top, number one, we have Microsoft Corporation, and it is an American multinational technology corporation headquartered in Redmond, Washington. Altogether, it has donated $126,056, and once again, that's Microsoft Corporation. Next, at number two, we have the University of Washington. And it's simply uh, a public research university in Seattle, Washington. Altogether, it has donated $119,742. And once again, that's the University of Washington. Next. At number three, we have Valve Corporation. Uh, they are also known as Valve Software and they are an American video game developer, publisher, and digital distribution company headquartered in Bellevue, Washington. Altogether, it has donated $98,000 and once again, that's Valve Corporation. Next. At number four, we have the Service Employees International Union. 
and it is a labor union representing almost 1.9 million workers in over 100 occupations in the U.S. and Canada. Altogether, it has donated $70,687. And once again, that's the Service Employees International Union. And at number five, we have Emily's List. And it is an American political action committee that aims to help elect Democratic female candidates in favor of abortion rights to office. Altogether, they have donated $61,250. And once again, that's Emily's List. But, yeah, uh... At a glance, industry-wise, retired, wonderful. Nonprofit institutions, hey, that's great. Lawyers, law firms, eh. electronics, eh. I mean, some are good, some are not so good. Securities and investment, no. Individual donors, Microsoft, nah. nah. University of Washington, great. Valve, that's fine. Service Employees International Union, great. Emily's List, that's all right. So, yeah. But this has been a look at Representative Pramila Jayapal, who represents the 7th District of Washington. As always, educate thyself. Think, read, study, learn. Someone tells you something you have trouble believing, ask them to cite their sources. I'll be putting sources in the description box below the video. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, later.